he just hits 2.2 mil on a level 2 card. Yo, what's up? I'm actually using the Luscious LR Liz today. Something I never thought I would do because I'm really, really struggling in Heroes Arena this week. And it's going to take me minimum 3 weeks to get her. So, yeah. She's pretty nice. She gives basic stats up to like 30%. Already giving us 15% HP related stats. She removes buffs. She also does like flood damage. She gives us increased the, like defensive stats. Pretty insane. This account actually has her 6 6. So she's pretty nice. This account is very much kitted. I'll have the account details in the description if you really want to know. Down to like box CC and all those stuff. I'll have that in the description. Yeah, so shout out to my boy Ju for lending me this. Something I can never get to showcase off rip these LR units. So I appreciate that one thing he didn't really have was like a defensive set for like liz which i normally have on my free to play he doesn't have that he, apparently he doesn't really need it but what i ended up doing was putting in a recovery piece on his freya apparently it was not needed but i thought it was needed you know normally my units die but apparently his does not so but i ran it anyway because i found that out after i already completed the run so it is what it is pretty much the same though we're just gonna be speeding through this very easily it's basically the same premise as what i did on the free to play account but this one is gonna be way faster because we already we're gonna have six six ultimates to really carry us further you know also like when i was using this i read it through but i thought like using the buff as well would count for it apparently not you need to attack for the healing to proc every time so i need six attacks to get the full 30 percent basic stats which I didn't really account for, unfortunately, till like the last one. But yeah, we're running Red Ludo in here as well. So Red Margaret, just to complement this team even more. So we're not really going to be falling behind any th any time. We're not going to be losing on like removing the stances or anything. Yeah, the only 1-6 unit in here is Margaret, by the way. Everyone else is like 6'6", six, six, probably. I didn't even check his cosmetic for Liz. I'm assuming he has it. Probably max cosmetics. Because this, this account is pretty stacked. It has to be, right? He has LR, Liz, and like the first week it's available, I guess. Yeah, we speed through these. Like, the damage is insane. We're gonna hit every cap regardless. We don't really... Like, the phase 1 and 2s for this is really no holdback. I want to see where the damage, like, hops up and jumps to other levels. Because at the end of this, some pretty insane stuff happens. That's all I'm gonna say for now. You're going to be one-shotting all the phases regardless, right? So, phase two is going to go down easily, just as you would with normal green Liz. So, she just fits in perfectly now. How they gave her that buff removal, it's just, like, perfect. So, you can basically do the same, but more. And having multiple cleanse cards, you're not going to be affected by really anything. Because normally on the phase threes, you're going to be... Like looking out for like the debuffs and like trying to heal up as much as you can. You would not like with LR Liz in the squad now. You're not going to be suffering any bit of that at all. Your HP is probably going to be full most of the time. And 
you're just gonna be shooting through this as assuming you have her that is also yeah on my free to play account i do have her two six so there is a decent disparity there because this this is six six i can't wait to actually get her on my free to play to see like how well she would work there but it's gonna take me minimum three more weeks i guess to even get her so it's gonna be some time slight misplay here I suppose I'm supposed to remove that buff before but it is what it is the DPS like it's not lacking at all we have like we can kill him like two times over right here also if you want to you can literally pop her ult one card and your your ult is back in hand already so you can constantly spam it every single turn if you want to these units being 6-6 six, six, it's, it's a constant cycle if you really want them up every single time. Like, look at the damage we're taking. We're taking literally no damage from this man. The amount of stats we have going right now is just... It's too much. He can't even really do anything to me. Like, normally, if you don't have a cleanse card or you don't have reasonably built high units, more than likely, you're going to be tanking like half your HP and just one of this. And then you got to be prepared for ult. And if you get ulted, you can't really go through properly because you either don't have DPS... Or good HP to move on for a floor 3 run. But now like it's such a thing of the past. Now you don't even need to really worry about it. If you can build this team completely that is. Yeah, floor two just goes down just as fast as floor one. Pretty quick runs. And yes, since we're running the Maya Freya combo here, we do, we are able to one shot the phase one. So that's a huge win already. Not be, not having to lay back and fight the phase one. For like an extra four or five turns that's pretty nice this phase right here is probably where i slowed down the most because like cycling of cards and like having certain plays available to me i I think I maybe slowed it a bit down too much. I probably should have just been pushing alts to like chip his HP bar as fast as possible. But I actually wasn't, I didn't do it properly maybe. But this was my first playthrough with this. So I didn't really have like much of a strat. I just hopped straight into it to just test it to see how good it would actually be.
We're getting chunked for like 80k there, and that's doing literally nothing to her HP. At this point, we're insanely tanky. I started to push Liz's ult more just because I know if I heal. I'm not sure if that exactly counts, but I thought it was at the time. So I was just pushing her ult to keep it to keep stacking the basic stats basically. Yeah, didn't really want to burn for the one of the other hits because it would remove like one of the stances and push the bar up like 15%. So I'm going to actually remove everything because I already know we're that tanky. So even if he has like the damage increase, we are still not going to die regardless. And I do have the recovery piece, so she does heal like crazy. So there's no way she's going to die. Yeah, I was actually thinking we I might be able to one shot with my L here. But even without it, because we still gonna be just shooting down that bar insanely fast regardless here. And just kill him and go through. So at this point, I'm, I'm pretty stacked up. My Liz, I think, is maxed at this point. And normally, uh, I would have like an ult to just like clear the bar. So I'm not even thinking about it. So okay, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm able to at least hit 100% with this. Because it's a Myel card and a Frey card. And then I, he just hits 2.2 mil out of nowhere on a level 2 card. Crazy. And... It, it all shines the frail level one for one mil, but geez, a 2.2 mile level two card that's crazy. I've never seen that level of DPS on like his card specifically. Yeah, 4 3. He is 6 6, so expected. Like, that's nuts. Like, if it's 6-6, six, six, I'm expecting to clear the bar. Yeah, of course. But his the cards, everything we have here is doing, um, like, so much damage that we can throw anything. Literally anything at this point. Crazy, just a 4 mil for her, easily. Easily. Level 1, 1. 1.4, my card. Like, come on. That's insane. And you didn't even see it, but he has no HP bar. He literally has no HP bar. Freya re-killed his ass. Like, there's nothing for me to actually kill. Like, when I'm playing on my free player account, this does not even come near. Like, at most, I get back, like, 30% of his bar. But then to my friend, it's like 2-6. 6-6 six, six just lives on a different level. They are just on a different plane. Like, look at this. And he's just dead again. Where is his HP? He doesn't have any. This is crazy. Pretty much, she's pretty amazing. The, the extra stats and everything goes crazy. So, as a PvE farming unit, she's nuts. I really, really can't wait to actually test her out on my field play. See how well she would work. But, yeah. She is actually insane for nid farming. I will be testing on other beasts in the coming future. So stay tuned for that. As always, I appreciate y'all for coming through and watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.